Christmas in Bethlehem, but it's not like you might expect it to be. No thousands of people turning up at Manger Square in the city, no Christmas carols, no festivities. Instead, a display of togetherness by Palestinians in Bethlehem, showing they are one with Gaza. In the aftermath, a living genocide, rubble, blood. Separated by geography and Israeli military checkpoints, Palestinians in the occupied West Bank say they cannot isolate themselves from Gaza's pain. It's too much, says artist Tariq Salsa. A Palestinian Christian from Bethlehem, he was inspired to rearrange the traditional Christmas manger scene to represent those buried under rubble. Virgin Mary in the historical Christmas story is joyous. Here she is, tilting her head down, and the baby is wrapped in a coffin, reminding us of the scenes coming out of Gaza. It's open for interpretation if you want to imagine the child being dead or alive. The star in the Christmas story guides the three wise men to Bethlehem and has been recreated here, but now reflects the realities of Israel's bombardment. These are the three wise men who have brought in expensive gifts to baby Jesus. Instead, they are holding white coffins. This represents the world leaders who, instead of helping people in Gaza, are sending them coffins. Twelve months ago, it was a different scene. This is Tariq helping build festive cards for a Christmas parade that toured different cities in the occupied West Bank, bringing joy to children. This year, people in Bethlehem want to remind the world their children are being killed, injured, starved and displaced. This can be considered the most silent entrance of the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem to the Nativity Church in Bethlehem. Usually when he arrives here, this is basically the announcement of the beginning of the Christmas celebrations. Today the silence can be heard. Adorning the Patriarch with a kofiya, radio journalist George Qanawati says he wanted to emphasize that Jesus was native to the land just like them. We are here to pray but also to ask not just for the ceasefire, ceasefire is not enough. We have to stop these, uh, uh, these hostilities and, and to turn the page because violence generates only violence. And the message of Christmas is not violence, it's peace. Palestinians say the first day of peace will be the last day of Israel's occupation. Nida Ibrahim, Al Jazeera, Bethlehem, the occupied West Bank. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.